Hello Play the Game, this is Rowan with a review of the latest DLC for Borderlands 2, How Marcus Saved Mercenary Day. So this is the third of the Headhunter packs and to be honest going into this I wasn't actually expecting much because the previous two have been quite a letdown frankly. The first one, the Halloween, was okay but then the Thanksgiving one was really quite bad in most areas. But this one is actually pretty good. A lot of the features are improved on and overall it's a really good bundle and it's still very cheap. I mean it's only £2.40 so it's quite a good deal. Uh, the good things about it would be firstly the soundtrack. The in combat soundtrack of this game is really good. I mean I really enjoyed it. It's a good mix of sort of the festive music, the modern techno music that most Borderlands combat has. And also a bit of comedy, like if you remember the Water Goblin DLC, if you played it, the uh, soundtrack for the boss fight was quite comical, which suits these headhunter packs because they're not meant to be taken seriously really, but the overall soundtrack, it's a really good mix and that's definitely one improvement they've made in this headhunter pack. Secondly, these headhunter packs have always had lots of easter eggs in them and this one's no exception, so for example the first one is the Narnia easter egg where you go through the wardrobe to get to the map. Then there's the sinning cycle that you get when you melt the place down. The background has the mountain reminiscent of the Grinch movies. And even the bandits that you come across are actually wearing Call of Duty ghost masks. So there's a lot of easter eggs in these header packs. And it shows the gearbox is actually putting thought into these little bundles. Uh, then there's the boss. And he reminds me a lot of Kyako Lantern because even though he doesn't have much health, he has a lot of very interesting mechanics and unique animations and unique attacks. Which you don't really expect because these are really cheap DLCs, you expect them to just be reskins. And we have seen reskin bosses in earlier Headhunter packs, but he's actually quite tricky to fight because he moves around very fast, so it's very hard to hit him, especially if you're playing as a class like the Assassin that I'm playing as in this footage, because with the Assassin obviously you have to hit his critical spot, but he actually moves his head around, he's very animated, he moves all around the map, which proves it a challenge, but if you do kill him he actually drops pretty good loot because Another thing these headhunter packs have been quite famous for is that they actually drop pretty good loot for their costs. For example, in the Halloween one, you had the boss that you unlocked and you had a pretty much 100% chance to drop the Pyrophobia. In this one, every time you kill the main boss, it spawns pretty much the most rewarding chest in the whole of Borderlands. It's sort of super chest that gives you a ton of loot, so you get shields, skins, class mods, weapons. There's usually a couple of launchers in there. And this chest actually has a ridiculously high legendary chance. I've seen people get two legendaries at once in this one chest. And it's really rewarding to play as. And it actually adds to replayability. Because a lot of DLCs can be throwaways. But this DLC, because this chest is so good. If you really want to get decent weapons. You can just come to this DLC and pick up some really good gear. It always has at least blues or purples in it. And e techs and legendaries are really common in this chest. So that's good. And... Pretty much overall, this is a really good DLC. It's nice to see a gearboxer stepping up the games with this. It's definitely a breath of fresh air onto the Headhunter packs. And even though this was meant to be the last one, Gearbox have confirmed they're working on, at the very least, one more Headhunter pack. They haven't added any more details, but going with the holiday themes attached to a certain character, I'd place money on a Valentine's Day Miss Moxie DLC. I think that's the most likely one to succeed this. But overall, How Marcus Saved Mercenary Day is a really good DLC. It's definitely worth the £2.40 to buy it, and it's a lot of fun. I definitely recommend you getting it. So this has been Rowan. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to Play the Game Center for more. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye. He wanted me to sing my heart out, so I snatched it from his chest. Play the song! <laughs>
Do you think my face looks all right in this light? Sometimes I think maybe I should drink, but then I feel a sudden that maybe I should summon someone to feed me that will never leave me, but then I'll be not who I say is me. But then a little bee said to me, it's better to transcend reality. So though I may be very senseless, I can keenly see great immenses. Dotto doodle, all the noodles come to play with me. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you, thank, thank you.